Hey there, this is Natasha from Rick Rack and Ribbons, and I wanted to talk about um, making some homemade uh, washi tape. And um, not a new concept, but um, thought I'd give it a try. And I actually decided to do, I have three different tapes here. So I thought, why not try it um, with all three tapes and kind of test those out and see, um, you know, how they work and their, their ease. So um, yeah, let's get started. I um, I know there's shadows and I do apologize for that. It's the time of day that I can um, uh, do recordings and and I know also my hands are a little shaky so I apologize for that. I had um, I have radiation this week so I'm going to have a little bit of a shaky hand thing going on. Um, okay, so I have uh, this tape here and this tape I got from Amazon and it is, ooh, I don't know. It is um, about a centimeter. Oh, it's a half an inch. Half an inch and then a centimeter and some other numbers. <laughs> and then um, this one is from the uh, Dollar Tree. And um, so I'll let you see that one. And not all Dollar Trees carry these. My Dollar Tree closest to me does not, but I did was able to stop at the Dollar Tree in... A different one and they did carry this so some do carry that one and they actually had quite a bit and then the last one I have is this um, 3m just your regular at the store by double-sided sticky tape now this doesn't have the paper backing and that's the tricky part with this one but I think I came up with a solution for that if um, this is all you can find because perhaps it is all you can find so I did start um, here I have a napkin um, I'd already used a feather out of it and um, I just you know simply laid just simply took my tape it's really simple <laughs> um, and I'm sure there's you know plenty of videos out there on this and just laid it down um, on the napkin smoothed her out not totally oops not totally straight but that's okay and I'm just gonna snip it off here at the end and with this, you know, you can cut these apart, but honestly, this tear, if you like that, you know, torn edge look, which is another bonus of making your own tape, um, really quite nicely. Or you can use the scissors and just um, cut them apart. And there you have a strip of washi tape. So we'll lay those aside. Okay, so with this, I um, pulled out a piece of wax paper to see if it would come off easily. And look, it comes off really nicely um, from the wax paper. Now, because you're handling it more, it may lose some stick, but um, it does come off nicely. And if it does lose the stick, then you know we do with what we do with regular washi tape and just use glue, which seems to work. So I'm gonna take a piece of this, and you know, you are doing double duty here because you're having to put it onto the wax paper and then also onto your your napkin but it doesn't really take um, that long and look it's crooked so I'm gonna stop about here because my waxed paper got well you can't see that cuz I'm off screen my wax paper got crooked there. so I'm just gonna cut that piece out and we'll stick it on the napkin that was kind of slick all right, and then we can just, and we'll see how it does. It's not quite as sticky as the other tape, so that'll be interesting when I go to, um, I will take, I'll take this off the wax paper and we'll see how it sticks. And if we might need to glue that one or we'll see what happens. Okay, so that was the double-sided, um, just your regular double-sided tape. Now this feels thicker to me um, as a rule than the white one does okay and then we have the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna open that and like any good junk journaler I'm gonna save the wrapping or the card and the, the this little interesting this piece here is kind of interesting I feel like I could I feel like I could do something with that but we'll see I try not to save too many of those okay I'm gonna set that aside and this is thinner um, let's see. Okay, but doesn't it doesn't really feel much different than the Amazon tape. Honestly. Oops, the scissors is in there, and now I'm stuck to the napkin in a weird way. Am I going to rip it? No. You know what? I, um, 
we'll get back to that. I will talk about the whole pulling apart the napkin thing in a minute. I completely started with the tape because I got excited about the whole wax paper piece. <laughs> okay, so we're going to kind of go backwards here. All right, so there is our three um, different types of tapes that we've used. So we have Amazon, um, wax paper back, double-sided tape, and then dollar store, dollar tree tape. So I'm just going to grab a um, piece of something over here. Okay, I'm just going to grab a piece of this, and we're going to... I'm going to just take these apart. No, I should watch on this one. If that will rip the same next to the, I'm on the waxed paper one. I'd like to be closer here. Now oh, I've got, yeah. And I'm just going to take these apart like that. All right. And peel off that backing. Now you could always save this backing too for the, um, this, this tape here. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, I see. I had it folded in half. Well, that was weird. Okay. And then we'll just place it on. Well, this is really sticky. I love the stick on this one. On our paper. Yeah. That's kind of pretty. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to actually cut the waxed one out. And um, I guess we use ancient scissors. All right, I'm going to cut this waxed one out and just because I'm not sure how it'll... Well, I guess it ripped okay next to the other one, didn't it? But we'll cut it out anyway to give it a cleaner edge so we can see what that looks like. All right. Got a little tight up there. Okay. And then the waxed paper. Well, now it came off really nice before it would come off nice now, and it just come off really nice. Oh, nope, I just spoke too soon. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And it does feel a little less sticky. Um, but let's just see what it, how it behaves. All right. Um, you know, it seems like, you know, here's the tattered edge here that, you know, where I tore it. Um, and it seems pretty clean, you know, to be sticking over here. So that's a good sign on that one. Okay. And then last we have the dollar store one, and I'm just going to tear that one as well. Uh, get that, that tattered edge here and clean it up a little bit over here. Okay. All right, and then we'll take this off and see how that works. Oh my goodness, it's just like a sticker now. It's not gonna be nice for me. Let's try this side. Wow, I'm, ha I'm having way more trouble getting this apart than I did the other ones. It's so much more difficult. Oh, there we go, I got it, okay. And it's, it is quite sticky. Ooh, and it's harder because it's thinner. Oh my gosh, it's a little more difficult to work with. Okay, well, it, we know it's gonna stick to the paper at least. And you know, well, you probably, you might take this long of a, sometimes I'd, I take just little pieces of washi tape, but um, yeah, that rolled out and it, it did stick to itself, but it unstuck to itself too, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I have a little piece up here that I should have taken off before. I went so that would be something to watch that you don't get extra up there so there's our three pieces of um, different types of tape now I'm sorry my dog is digging and I don't know why they do that but they do Other thing I was thinking um, I didn't show you is you know just in case you don't know and I'm sure you've dealt with napkins before stop would you you're not going anywhere buddy um, you know napkins come in two ply and three ply and you have to end up taking it apart. Well, and these ones actually, the ones I've been working with, come apart super easily. But you do want to make sure that you get um, everything. Um, then this one happens to be a two ply, so that means there's another layer in here. So I, I need to get off. Um, and if 
you can't get them apart. There is a tape method that um, you lay a piece of tape on each side and then you pull. I guess I don't use that very much. I usually tear it before I am. Um, but you want to make sure you get to the see-through part of your um, napkin. Okay, so that is an, um, washi tape, three different types. And, um, you know, why do you want to use make homemade washi tape? I really do think it's more economical. And you can really choose, pick and choose the patterns you have, you know, from a napkin. And, and a lot of us have a lot of napkins. And this is a great way to use them up. Anyway, I hope that you found this helpful and enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And um, welcome to my new subscribers. I was really excited to see I had a few more. It's, you know, kind of a tricky business with... Um, growing videos and I'm kind of sporadic and I get that mostly that's because I'm uh, either you know sometimes some days are just not good days and, and that's just the way that is but um, some days when I have good days and I can I can do something I'm really excited to do a video and and uh, kind of a, a craft with me or whatever I whatever is going on during the day so have a great day and um, I will talk to you again thanks bye